preventive medicine is a field which is unique. It has expertise in two fields, which is clinical medicine as well as public health. And so preventive medicine is the field that looks at every aspect of that, uh, public health, social determinants of health, lifestyle modifications that patients can, can make. And so that is all well beyond what we do in primary care, but they work very well together to get the best outcomes for patients. So we have two types of programs. So we have combined internal medicine and preventive medicine program, and residents are enrolled for four years. And they do first two years in internal medicine, and third and the fourth years are dedicated to preventive medicine. In their third year of preventive medicine, they are enrolled in University Buffalo School of Public Health for their NPH. And in the fourth year, they do clinical preventive medicine rotations. The other option we have is a two-year preventive medicine residency. It's a standalone program, and you get a master's of public health and then do rotations in preventive medicine. It's a very flexible program. You can do kind of anything you want in terms of the, the what you choose to focus on. The preventive medicine residents have the opportunity to do rotations that really play to the strengths of Buffalo and Western New York. We have inner city rotations where there's um, populations of recent immigrants, of long-standing members of the community, people of all different socioeconomic statuses. There's also the opportunity very close to Buffalo to be out in rural areas and see a whole different population and a set of preventive medicine challenges. There are a number of new rotations in this preventive medicine residency. A key one is maternal health, uh, and that's such a critically important factor because we need to have the best health of the mother to have the best health of the children. We got a grant from HRSA. This specific grant is to have maternal health focus. The Jericho Road Community Health Center, I'm doing a maternal health rotation, so working in an obstetrics and gynecology clinic. So we're seeing pregnant women, women after they've delivered babies, as well as for routine gynecology care. You know, for a lot of these women, this is their first time having a baby in the United States. You know, they've lived in other countries, either immigrated here or come here as refugees. The Priscilla Project is a part of Jericho Road Community Health Center, and they are a group of people that work to support healthy birth outcomes. I'm working with the Priscilla Project to help increase the vaccination rates of their participants. So I work with the participants of the project themselves. I, you know, contact them and we talk about vaccines that are required during pregnancy and what's recommended and what's safe in pregnancy. We have this relationship with Niagara County Department of Health for 20 years and we have recently strengthened it. Our resident rotate through different division and they have ability to customize the rotation in a different division to the areas of resident specific interest. I think like preventive medicine program like enables those residents to, when they graduate, they know the patient as a whole, which is like a huge implement, like not only on the patient, but also the whole surrounding of the patient. And we can bring about a change because of that. As a resident here at the Hurdle Amul Clinic, uh, we are responsible for seeing uh, patients so our primary responsibility is to address those uh, sorts of uh, problems and to address their chronic medical conditions. There are two QI projects that I'm actually involved in at this time. Uh, one of them uh, focuses on uh, chronic opioid therapy and uh, reducing the risk of misuse and overdose in patients. The second project I'm involved in is a diabetes project. I think the nice thing about being here at the University of Buffalo is there's a very diverse uh, training. You get to see patients in different populations, you get exposure to uh, different communities, and I think it's been pretty rewarding. One of our new rotations um, in, in the preventive medicine residency is the lifestyle medicine rotation. Through both lecture and discussion curriculum as well as utilizing uh, the American College of Preventive Medicine's formal lifestyle medicine curriculum, you'll get the basics of, of what to think about um, when it comes to approaching like behavioral changes and environmental changes to promote health. You also will rotate in a, a different um, clinical settings. You'll rotate with a preventive cardiologist, you'll rotate with an endocrinologist. We see patients from uh, patients who never had any cardiac problems to patients who had major myocardial infarction, who has been hospitalized for heart failure, and each one of them would 
learn how to approach a patient, get a good history and physical examination, the proper testing that needs to be done to these patients, and how to follow them, and eventually the medical management of these patients. Residents, uh, interns that has rotated me, I've been getting very good feedbacks uh, in how um, they become very comfortable dealing with these patients. They do not feel overwhelmed. And even if they pursue other endeavors, they still learn how to deal with a lot of the simple patients that they come across in their um, internal medicine patients. We're very excited about an initiative, strategic initiative started by Great Lakes Health a year ago, which is really a community-based quality institute, which partners with the healthcare system and really bridges a gap between community, their health, and trust in the healthcare system. So as we think about preventive medicine and we think about healthcare of tomorrow, we have to think about ways of addressing the health of place and, and having a meaningful dialogue, education, action plan, and discussion on how we can improve that or affect that. The preventive medicine residents that will be trained on all of these quality improvement tools um, will become leaders in our system around these areas of opportunity and change. One of the things that I think is a benefit from doing these rotations is that residents get a chance to use the knowledge and skills they develop during residency in areas like statistics, behavioral health, community health, and epidemiology. And it's a unique opportunity to exercise those skills. And I think another one of the benefits for preventive medicine residents when they rotate through independent health is that they get to see the behind the scenes of a health plan. And you don't really have much of an opportunity to do that otherwise. So it's really fascinating to uh, be involved in the data analytics function of an insurance company. There's just huge amounts of unused clinical data that's very valuable and fascinating. We also have developed a addiction medicine rotation where we have five addiction medicine board certified faculty from Department of Family Medicine where they have nationally recognized family uh, fellowship program for addiction medicine. Here in the VA, working within uh, the clinical informatics department. So the project that we've been recently working on is an improving the inter-facility transfers. So we work on improving the workflow and like any complexity with navigation the system and decreasing any difficulties with reaching the complete orders. I think for all the residents, I, and not just for preventive medicine, it's, it's really important to understand all the forces, all the things that happen outside of the, uh, the siloed experience that I got. I think this was a unique experience because patients within the VA has different barriers than patients within the main um, medical campus. And being in a place where you're able to work in depth, but within different communities, you get better insight about um, how you can actually help them like when we progress further in our career. For residents who are training here at Buffalo, we have a wealth of research opportunities. We are a um, well-known research center um, within the SUNY system, but also nationally. Um, there are many different research institutes you can work with. We also have a quality improvement expertise in the, in the department, and uh, residents work with me and in quality improvement, and we have been working with social justice and improving cancer screening and uh, various projects. Just recently, I uh, received a social injustice award for making a, um, increasing colorectal cancer screening at our clinic. We have a lot of faculty who uh, run clinical trials and interventions here in Buffalo area, sort of could help uh, residents to actually understand the populations they're going to be working with if they're planning to stay in Buffalo and gain uh, knowledge on a variety of different topics. The Masters of Public Health program is a solid, state-of-the-art public health program that's competitive with any public health degree anywhere. It's a very unique opportunity for students around the country that are able to develop the multiple degrees at the same time in a continuous program. So residents do NPH during their third year of combined program, and if they are in standalone preventive medicine program, they do in their uh, first year of preventive medicine. 
and they have options of online or in person. Preventive medicine and public health actually have a lot in common. Uh, they both focus on preventing disease and keeping people safe and functional in the community. The training that physicians get, and anyone that's really in a clinical field, so a nurse, a social worker, a pharmacist, physicians as well, they are trained clinically. They're trained in their profession and in their skill. But what the MPH degree offers is a population perspective of healthcare and the care that's delivered at outcomes, outcomes of a whole population. The main and best thing about this residency, it's um, concentration focused. The Masters of Public Health is has different disciplines and you can uh, focus on one that is within uh, the passion that you want. Students in our MPH program take core courses in epidemiologic methods, community health behavior, as well as classes related to health services administration in the United States. So we have a core set of classes and then they also select an individual concentration. If none of those varieties or concentrations seem to work for someone, we also have what we call an individualized MPH degree, which allows someone to tailor their coursework to something that interests them. Medicine is a team sport, healthcare is a team sport. At UB, we have opportunities with all of the major kinds of health professions for people to learn how to work together. And there are very few other universities that have all of the different health science schools here together where you can learn how to work together as a team to improve health. So all students who go through um, really any of the medicine programs are trained into professionally. Everyone in, in a Master of Public Health program is also trained into professionally. All students will go through um, a couple of what we call interprofessional education forums. So when you have a more formal program of training like that, it really reinforces that idea of teamwork, of understanding, of communication, and ultimately this impacts patient care for the good. The current challenge that we have is there is a gap in what we're teaching and training students and what may be modeled in the environment that they're working in. These preventive medicine residents that are coming out will be helping us bridge that gap. I think it's great to be at UB as a flagship university within the State University of New York system. We have great support for the programs that we have. We have a great breadth of opportunities. We have wonderful research that's being done. Uh, and it's a pretty unique place. We do focus on the welfare of the residents. We do focus on how well they're adjusting to the different rotations. So in that regard, I think the, the resident comes out learning a lot from it, and I think it's a good conducive environment for them to really learn from this. You will be helping us trailblaze a program that is unique and helping all of the others that follow behind you um, to have had a improved experience based on your feedback. And that means there's going to be a lot of learning for everyone around this residency, and, and that's exciting.